What is goody gang? So today I'm going to be talking about if the Genshin 4.2 phase 1 banners is worth for F2P. You guys already know to absolutely nuke that like button and to join our goofy discord server which is in the description. The server is very active and I am too so it's a great place to just vibe out and you get notified as soon as I upload. So beginning with the character banner, we already know that we are getting Furina in phase 1 along with Beizu. Of the two, I would obviously recommend going for Furina because the buffs she can provide along with her off-field hydro application and damage is too good to pass up. And honestly while Beizu is good on his own, he is much better with Furina do it does not make sense to pull for solely him when you don't have Furina. While Furina also benefits greatly from Beizu due to team-wide healing, giving her burst more stacks, a similar thing is done from one of the four stars in the banner. So Charlotte is one of the four stars in the banner, and she also does provide some team-wide healing, even though it is a little slower and not as effective. I think this is good enough for Furina where you do not need Beizu to give the stacks, and also since Furina is pretty good in freeze teams this is basically a win. So basically when you are pulling for Furina, you can make almost half of a team right there, and potentially even three quarters of a team if you get the other four star character. So the other 4 star character is Beidou, and she is especially good in taser teams due to her burst, and also in providing shield at C1 which is great. Since Furina is already draining HP, I think the shield will be great in providing protection from enemy damage so it can make gameplay smoother where you might not be on the verge of dying as much. And with her utility, she is great for taser which you can run with Furina and Charlotte, where the superconduct can make Beidou do more physical damage if you use her on field. Now as per the other 4 star character, this one is a little more mid which is Kaliai, mostly because she really is not a meta character. While she is decent, everybody basically has her at C1 by now, and there are just better options out there for Dendro. It'd say this is the only drawback on Furina's banner, but other than that this is a pretty solid one to pull on. Now moving on to the weapon banner, I would not even give it a look because it honestly just sucks. The 5 star weapons are Beizu Donut and Furina's signature, which is the only good weapon in here. However if you lose the 50-50 or whatever ratio it is on the weapon banner, you're going to end up with a trash weapon. Along the way of that too you aren't getting good 4 star weapons, because we are getting the bell as our claymore. This weapon sucks, and while the banner has better weapons like Dragon's Bane, this reruns every 2 seconds so you really aren't missing out much. Now there are some decent options in the banner such as Sacrificial Sword, but this arguably the only good weapon and is not worth pulling for just for that. We also have the stringless as the bow, which can be good on Tainari or Fiscal, but it once again is just a whole lot of mid for a weapon. And then lastly for the catalyst we got sacrificial fragments which is once again not bad but I don't see it being a standout weapon for any particular catalyst. Overall, I highly recommend pulling for Furina's banner if you are planning to pull her from the beginning, but I would 100% stay away from the weapon banner and maybe get her weapon in 4.6. So these are my thoughts on the Genshin 4.2 Phase 1 banner, let me know your thoughts in the comments below.